Welcome to the Social Stack, your go-to channel for tech-based marketing for your real estate business. I'm Amy Stack, and today we're going to go over some of the basic widget functionality inside the Keller Williams Command Designs applet for uh, building email templates. With that, let me go ahead and share my screen. And we'll walk through that process together. So I'm logged into my command account. I'm just gonna come over here to designs. And I'm going to click the plus sign, choose email and click next. To start a brand new email, you would hit this create button in the top right. And my goal today is to show you how to use the header and footer widgets. So I'm starting with a totally blank email and you can see on the right hand side, we've got different widgets to choose from. So we've got legal header and legal footer. All I'm doing is clicking and dragging them over to the left. You'll see the green bar pop up and that is where the widget is going to populate. So you can see all of this information is kind of like a placeholder. All of this is going to feed in from your marketing profile and you can just hit this little eyeball to see how it's going to look on the consumer side. So if any of this information is incorrect, you wanna make sure you go update your marketing profile. I'm just going to save this. We'll hit save and exit. So if that information needs to be updated, just come click on your name. Welcome to the social stack, your go-to channel for marketing technology. No. Nope. Welcome to the social stack, your go-to channel for tips on marketing based in technology for your real estate business. I'm Amy Stack, and today we're going to talk about how to add a header and a footer to a Keller Williams command email. Let me go ahead and share my screen so we can get started. Okay, so I'm in Keller Williams Command. Oh, screen's loading here, there we go. Just in the main screen here, and to get started, we wanna go click that Designs applet. It's got the little paintbrush on it. I'm gonna hit the plus sign, choose Email, and hit Next. This will start us in the email section. We can see we're gonna have templates loaded in to choose from. I'm going to show you how to create one from scratch. So to do that, just hit this create new template up in the top right. Make sure you name it. And all we're gonna to cover today is getting your header and your footer in there. So to stay compliant and to have a nice look at the opening and the close of your email, you're gonna to wanna to use these widgets on the right hand side say legal header and legal footer. All you have to do is click and hold, drag that over and you'll see that green bar appear. Wherever you release, where that green bar appears is where your widget will populate. Then the legal footer block, same thing, click, hold, drag, that green bar is gonna appear and right where that is, my legal footer will drop in. So if I put it up at the top, the footer would be at the top and we don't want that. So we want that right at the bottom of the page. And that's all you have to do to get your footer and header populated in there. You can click the little eyeball right here and get a preview of what that information will look like. If for some reason this content isn't correct for you, you can just go to your marketing profile to update that. But that's my quick tip of the day for you, how to add in your legal header and your legal footer to stay compliant when you're sending out those emails. Uh, if you are looking for more tips like this and quick updates, check back to my channel or hit that subscribe button to make sure you're getting notified when new videos launch. I'll see you next time.